Tuesday the 13th of November and I'm continuing getting the motorhome ready for its habitation service and that repair. One of the things I try and do at least twice a year is get the carpets clean. So uh, today, uh, rather this afternoon, I'm going to get the carpets out and give them a clean. Oh, and do you like the, the new haircut? I had that done this morning. five poppers there that you've got to take off to get this bit out. This is the most complicated piece. Right at the front I've got this, right, this uh, rather black looking carpet here but it gives a bit of extra protection to the carpet underneath. But I've had to put this down, held, held this down with uh, Velcro because it slides about a bit. Velcro under there to hold it in place. And carpet underneath, and as you can see, this panel here is quite worn. Sorry, the black bit of carpet which probably doesn't come out on the film. The Velcro doesn't hold it all that well because it tends to sort of come off. It stops it moving anyway. Let's get that out. got the carpet here which is held in by poppers and the other one the other side another popper there somehow pull that back I'll go inside to finish that off a couple of poppers here and there so I shouldn't now about to wrangle this out so that's the front carpet out and now the middle carpet which is the one that gets the, the, the muckiest um, <coughs> doormat there as well <coughs> so popper on here is actually actually broken it's got a popper there one there, one here, and one there, which is nearly broken. Just hanging on by its thread, that one. So that's that one. Oh. Right, bedroom carpet, poppers. Over there, over there. Well, you often leave this door wedged open, or wedged to keep it open, and pop it there. Also got these door stops as well. Stop the door banging against the, the side of the bed. Poppy likes to use those as a doorbell. She taps that and it attracts our attention. Right. Getting there. So the last one is in bathroom. So there's a, one popper there. Oh god. Mind the thing there. And there's one over here. There's only two poppers holding this in place but I suppose because it goes it goes around the carpet it doesn't need too much to hold it. So that's the carpets. All I'm going to do now is get them indoors and give them a good clean. Right, I've got the Bissell carpet cleaner out. This little thing. 
as the lid that comes off. The way. What I do is I fill that out with warm water. got this uh, detergent container so I think you fill that up to a line on here where is it see it there it is a line there with water and put I've got rug dog to carpet detergent so I can use that let's fill it up to the other line I guess up to there. Goes back in there. That goes back on there. Goes in there. And the water goes on there. So that's floor cleaning and heavy traffic That's the carpets done, uh, they've just got to wait for them to dry, uh, so I'll leave them in the kitchen for a while. But it's amazing the amount of rubbish and hairs and things that come out of it. It's probably with owning a, a little dog that you do get a lot of dog hairs in it and that carpet cleaner seems to pull a lot of the hairs out of it, so that's good. Anyway, I, I know prob probably a lot of you are asking why on earth do I bother with carpets if they're going to get so filthy and take so much cleaning. Well, I just think if you look, you know, where you've not got a carpet, it just just seems so bare inside. And she feels a bit colder as well. So no, I like having carpets. Yeah, it just looks a bit cold. A bit like a, a showroom model really. Anyway, enough of that. What I've got to do now is I've got to empty the van out and uh, put, it, put everything as much as I can in the garage and get the lockers cleaned out. So let's do that. Oh, a lot of poppy stuff here. Probably going to go inside. barbecue sticks. Right. 
plates and cups and mugs. Cell that we've got. Quite nice when it's empty. or well, when it's emptying. Amazing, isn't it? Right, that's everything out of the carousel. All apart from that. Right, so just clearing out these lockers. They're mainly sort of books and magazines and things. Man manuals I need those indoors put that in pile for going back indoors hats some of these books see if they're still valid I think that one can go in the bin yeah. right so that's those three lockers the wardrobe and the other wardrobe in there right so that's those three lockers cleared out right so the bathroom clad cabinet emptied that's one down here to do not too bad right all those shelves are empty that's empty under here now right so what I've got under here is the aqua roll the tassimo steps chocks uh, a blanket for the aqua roll uh, cleaner vacuum cleaner I think that's it this is the reason for clearing out your lockers there's a thermos flask a really nice thermos flask I think I've used it about once I was sitting in the corner there right at the back I wonder what else we're gonna find oh, that's that locker empty next one my side well not too much in here I've got tins soft drinks a load of that cable left over which I'm gonna to have to get some new cable and um, a collapsible bowl and some walking sticks oh and I found a cover for me tailor-made windscreen cover all right another locker emptied and bits and pieces in that one Right, under this side locker I've got uh, things like water, uh, water pipes, waste pipes, drill and the aqua roll. So let's get that out of there. Ah, it's that one emptied. Last one I'm going to empty is the passenger seat one. Let's see what we get under there. Perhaps that come off there. Right. And look what we've got under here. So some boots, rucksack, my um, tire compressor, and cleaning stuff. all of the lockers cl uh, cleared well, that's the lockers cleared out now the only trouble is I just realized I've left the service record for the van and the habitation record and I can't remember where it was it's under there somewhere so I better get digging 
yeah found them okay so it just remains to clear to uh, hoover out the, the cupboards get all the dust out of it You don't mind being in the shop then. <laughs> well it's weird isn't it, I've been in the video and suddenly I'm in the shop. Well you're still there aren't you, it proves you're still alive isn't it, in the background. <laughs> what you've been doing whilst I've been working hard. What have I been doing? Yeah. Um, ordering all, getting the Christmas cards sorted out, trying to decide what to buy for people, putting the tins in that you brought in, in the cupboard, yeah. taking the empty boxes upstairs. Um, Entertaining Poppy. Oh yeah. Because she's a bit bored, aren't you, Pops? Yeah, so not been doing a lot really. No, no. That's a good job you've been busy then, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it for uh, preparing the van for um, its service and its repair. It's all cleaned out. It's it's all the habitation lockers are empty. You know, I've left a few things in the cab, you know, like the spare wheel and equipment for that, you know. What have you done with all the pots and pans and in place? They're in the garage. They're in, They're a, in, in, garage. A, lock, in a box in, in the locker. We're, prob we're probably going to uh, give those a wash, aren't we? Before, yeah, yeah. Before we'll we go, we'll probably back. do that before the habitation service. We normally put them through the dishwasher, don't we, sir? Yeah. So uh, I won't show you that. What, not dishwasher? You can't, because it, it's in door shuts. <laughs> I suppose I could leave the GoPro in the dishwasher, couldn't oh, I? Oh, God. That's <laughs> waterproof. It's waterproof, yeah. I'm not sure if it would survive that. <laughs> Might not be dishwasher-proof. dishwasher, dishwasher proof. No. So, anyway, so um, that's the end of our little mini-series on getting the van ready. Uh, probably tomorrow, probably later tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to start filming our epic series, uh, our four-year review of the motor, starting with... We off two pots. <laughs> Starting with how much it cost, which is a bit of a revelation. It was for us how much yeah, it cost. So how much over, we spent. I know how much we spent. Over four years. Do you know how much we spent, Poppy? You've no idea, have you? Do you know how much you've cost? <laughs> yeah, yeah, about that. <laughs> about that, yeah. <laughs> Probably a bit more than that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> So, yeah, like I say, that's it for now. Um, give us, <coughs> gives a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and hit that noti <coughs> notification <coughs> button. Because I think that's what she's trying to say. Yeah. <coughs> Isn't it? I'm sure she yeah? is. Right, okay. See you then. <laughs> Pop is all ready for Christmas. For the last year's present. Yeah. Was you getting tired? I got bored with that. Bored with that. <laughs> <laughs>